Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are actually back with our steam locomotive. As you guys can see right here, this is one of the earliest versions that we actually have, uh, and the reason being is because this one definitely worked around the track. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on infinite electricity, we're going to go ahead and get this thing moving, and hopefully it will actually work. If it does, we're going to go ahead and implement uh, the system that's in this into our new one, and hopefully everything will actually work fine. So, let's get to it, shall we? Okie dokie, so we are actually moving now, which is awesome. Uh, we are going 37, which is faster than it's actually uh, going at the minute in the new one, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep this going as long as we possibly can. Um, and we're gonna hope that we can actually get further around the track than uh, we have in the previous versions With that being said, uh, we do actually need to go as far as possible with this um, And hopefully it doesn't stall out just after this curve. So we're gonna keep going um, As soon as we get around the curve, hopefully it does keep going from there um, And then if that actually works, we need to figure out what's wrong with our new one because I have added more systems But um, they're not they're not something that should have impacted it uh, we do appear to be slowing down in this one too, so this is weird because <laughs> I know for sure that this one actually worked um, pre-update and now it doesn't, so that's very strange isn't it? Anyway, we're speeding back up, which is nice, are we? We were speeding back up, but now I think we're done. Oh no, here we go. Here we go, it is actually speeding up after the curve again. Oh no, now it's slowing down. I don't know what's wrong with these anymore. I don't know what's happened. Okay, so yes, uh, it is actually fully broken, even though everything that was working is now not working. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. This is very strange. Okay, so now that I know that that's a thing where it was working, now it isn't working. Um, I know that previously I did change these to, um, to condensers, and I am going to do the same thing again. Uh, but the reason that I'm going to do the same thing ag again is apparently because I did it the wrong way around. Um, so yeah, we need to make sure that it is the right way around. Uh, in order for this to work. So water out is the other way around. So there you go. Steam in, water out. Okay, excellent. We're going to go for two of these uh, because we usually do go for two. So there you go. And then those need to go into these if possible. Uh, so that'd be good. Uh, all we need to do is move these guys along. Uh, one. Do, 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 do. There we go. This is... Oh no. Out. We need it to be out. There we go. Okay, so that's out. There we go. Fantastic. Grab this, delete that one, put that there, grab one of these guys, smash it on here like this, voila! Okay, go to the other side and do the same thing, kind of. <laughs> the same thing, kind of. So this is going to go this way, we're going to go ahead and extend it this way, just like so. Um, we're going to send this one around the corner, obviously, and then we're going to hopefully pipe them together using this right here, and there we go. The only other thing we need to do now is add uh, radiators to these guys, and that should be good to go. Okay, so there we are. Everything in there is actually done. All we need to do now is connect those up to the uh, the firebox button. Here we go. Uh, and make sure that all of this is actually running together. So radiator fans and stuff like that are all working, and that is A-OK. -okay. Um, with that being said, what we're going to do is increase the fill level of this to 10. Yeah, and then we're going to go with that. All right, so spawn this in. Here we go. All right, so far so weird. <laughs> We're gonna jump inside and see if this has actually fixed anything. It might have, it might also not have done anything, but we'll see. Here we go guys, we are actually now moving, so uh, we'll see if this actually works. Uh, I don't know what our max speed is gonna be once we've actually got out of here, but um, hopefully it's around 30. Although it is gonna be slower because we've limited our firebox temperature, if I remember correctly. So um, yeah. Um, Oh no, it is, it is going to be around 30. Okay. Well, anyway, let's wait until we get to the bend and see what happens. Okie dokie, we're still going. Here we are still going. Boiler in... Oh, sorry. Water in the boiler is actually quite low. Okay, excellent. Uh, we're still going around. Our speed is 32. Okay. Okay, so our speed is going to be, like, bouncing around. That should be normal, uh, which is okay. That's all good. Our water in tank is staying around the same. Our speed is staying around the same. And our pressure and temperatures are all staying around the same as what they were before. Okay, we're still going around. Still working. 33. Okay, we're still... We're actually speeding up now. Which is what happens last time, or what happened last time. We ended up speeding up, and then it died. And I'm not sure what the correlation between those two are. But um, there might be some sort of correlation there. I don't know. Um, okay, this is down to about 8. Okay, 
This is at 35 and staying quite steady. Our boiler temperature is almost at 150. Okay, it hit 150. We have slowed down, but that's because we hit a bend. Okay, cool. Keep it going. 35 is still there. Pressure is still rising. Temperature is still okay. Water level has dropped. Water level has dropped. Aha! Okay, that might be an issue. We'll see. Uh, we're still going around. Okay, perfect. I might need to add a little bit of a water tank in here. I'm not sure. Um, we've got to the bridge. Okay, remember last time we got past the bridge and then it stalled out? We're going to keep going. Hopefully this time it doesn't stall out. We are about to speed up though, which is what it did last time. Okay, our pressure is at max, and now it started to slow down. It has started to slow down again. Ah, <laughs> no! This is so annoying. This is very, very... Oh? Oh, hang on! It might just be because of the, the hill and the bend. It might have just been because of the hill and the bend. Oh! Oh, and we've lost water pressure. Okay, so our water level has, has gone all the way down because we don't have a water tank anymore. But our speed is still fine. Okay, and we are still moving around actually very quickly. Okay, we might have fixed it. We might have to use condensers now. Okay, fine. <laughs> if that was the problem all along, and that video where I put the condensers in, I put them in backwards. That's a big yikes. <laughs> that is a big, big yikes. But yeah, we're going 37 meters per second. Um, we might need to add an extra water tank just to add a little bit of extra water to this. Um, but I'm almost certain that we're going to be fine now. So the problem was the water tanks. Interesting. Very interesting. But now that it's working, um, I'm super happy. Yeah. Okay, so we're still continuing. Look at this. 34. That's good. Our pressure's still fine. Our water level is actually staying at very, very, very similar. What we might do is actually add an emergency tank in there, um, just before the boiler, and if we need to, we can open a valve and let more water in. Um, we'll also actually add a filling bit for that as well, because I think that makes sense. Uh, and that should actually be really, really good, so there you go. Anyway, it's fully working now, so let's go ahead and do the tank. Let's add a spare tank that pumps water into the system. Do -do 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 -do. I'm actually really happy with this. Very, very happy with this, actually. So, let's add a water tank into here. Do, 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 do. I don't know where, actually. Um, is this in or is this out? This is out. Okay, so what we did last time was we actually added a water tank in here. Okay. Tank, here we go. Yes, we're going to use the medium one, I believe. There we go. We can put that right there. It is going to be fresh water. And we're going to have it... Oh. This isn't quite what I wanted, actually, is it? It's not. So, we need a T-pipe. Wherever that may be. Uh, there we go. A T piece. Good. We're going to go ahead and smash that into there like so. Uh, we're then going to add a valve. Yes. On and off. That's probably okay. Okay. Hang on. Fluid out is the other way around. And then we're going to add a tank to the top of that. Which is going to be this. There we go. Okay. I might even add two. And then if I really wanted to. Oh, no. <laughs> this is annoying. Uh, we need a filling bit. We need, we need a way of filling it. Um, okay, pipe, real quickly. I've got an idea. We can actually just go ahead and send this this way. Add another one of these so that it is correct. Right there. And then we could go in line with this, send it out the side. Uh, wait, is that there? Oh, it's in line with this. Interesting. Um, I'm going to drop it down there and we're going to send it out the side. Okay, this is going to be quite cool actually. Because then we'll be able to refill our water. If we need to. So, send it this way. Get ourselves a port. Is it a port? What is that? Uh, a connector. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. No, it's an anchor. Sorry, I'll get there eventually. A hose anchor, yes. Um, and essentially, this is going to be filling up the water. So, let's just go ahead and slap it in there. Actually, make it this color. There we go. And that's all good to me. Yeah. Nice. All right, so yeah, we've got loads of fresh water in there now. That's good. Uh, we essentially need a button now to actually open that up. Um, do, 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 do. We'll whack it here. So that'll be our button for opening up, and that'll be our button for something else. Um, increase water. Um, increase water. <laughs> is that the water dampener? Is that what that does? Maybe that's what that does. Anyway, that is to open up the valve right here, and that should allow the water into the system, which is completely fine. There you go. Nice. Okay, I'm happy with this.
Although, 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 I'm now thinking about this, and actually, I might need to uh, take this from a different bit of the pipes. Yes, okay, I will need to take this from a different bit of the pipes. Probably just before this, actually. So, let's grab ourselves a tea piece from somewhere. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Uh, and the reason being is because we need the water level to stay the same, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So, yeah, we need the water level to stay the same. And uh, our control for that is actually before this pump, uh, I do believe. Actually, what is this pump connected to? Maybe that's a good idea. So, it's connected to this valve, and it's connected to this pump. It actually has to be before this pump, then. Uh, before this valve, I should say. So, delete that. And go ahead and whack that back into there like so. Find out where the valve is, which is right here. There is a... Oh. I don't think we need that, so we'll just leave it. And we'll connect that to there. Okay. From there, we're going to go upwards. From here, we're going to go all the way down to here. And then from here, we're going to attach them together. There we go. So if we need the water in, actually, we don't need an extra valve because this will allow it through. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so I feel like we needed some more testing. So let's go ahead and jump inside. I've attached the tender. Let's go ahead and do the throttle up, light the box. Uh, increased water is there. That doesn't actually have to be there anymore. And I've got a toggle button there that does nothing. Um, I would like some... Um, some dials for this extra stuff, so I'll probably put a dial in there for the extra water, uh, and that will be it. Unfortunately, the water level is 17.5. It shouldn't be, um, but I know why it is, because we actually increased the amount of water in there. So we're all good. We are fine. All right, we're going, guys. It is actually moving. Excellent. Um, a few of you guys have actually mentioned as well that I should maybe add armor to the train itself. Um, I didn't really want to do that, uh, because it does get rid of the whole aesthetic of the steam train, uh, or the steam locomotive, I should say, um, and makes it look very ugly, but, I mean, we could do that in the future if we wanted to, I suppose, uh, but I genuinely don't know. I might even add a canopy across the top of it, just to make it a little bit camouflaged from the sky. That might be a good idea, I don't know. Um, but here we go, we are moving, our boiler pressure is up, our water level is going down, because it should, uh, and our speed is at 26, almost 27. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and let this run until we get around the other side and see if it actually works. Alright, so that uh, was a weird, a weird bit of video, but there you go. So, we're still going 24 meters per second, which is actually quite quick. I'm going to change that into something else, not meters per second. Uh, one thing that I would say is we are losing a lot of water by, um, by pumping it out as steam. I might keep that in the system, I might not keep that in the system, but it is stopping us from blowing up at the moment, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, we're, we're working, it's decently fine, and uh, I'm happy with it, so there you go. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.